Good evening. It has been five and a half years since a flash flood tore through Manoa Valley, and that's how long it's taken to repair the damage to the University of Hawaii's Hamilton Library and to make it as flood proof as possible. KITV4's Catherine Cruz is here to explain. Catherine. Well, Paula, Hamilton Library is almost whole again. Now, if you recall, it took the brunt of the muddy waters, and its road to recovery has been a very, very long one. Non-stop construction, that's what it may have seemed like to some, but it is almost over. Work is winding down in the library basement, which was off limits, sadly, longer than it takes to get a college degree. Oh, yeah, it's, it's been a long haul here, you know, and I think everybody in the library is really glad that this is kind of finally drawing to a conclusion because it's been a pretty traumatic event for all of us. To appreciate what it took to get to this point, you have to remember what happened down here. The flood was even as high as eight or nine feet in some parts of the ground floor uh, when the flood happened, and so almost everything you see down here was underwater. Underwater and mud. The library's computers, the brains of the system, used to be down in the basement. No more. This hallway led up to a section of maps and documents that were nearly wiped out in one night. But there was something here that wasn't destroyed. Believe it or not, this wall mural of library books is one of the few things that survived the floods that night. Government documents suffered the most extensive damage to its collection, and the university has managed to replace about 80% of it. Some of the muddied maps are still frozen, kept in storage in these shipping containers until staff can get to them. It may take a few more years. But today, new floor tiles are down, ceiling tiles are up, new furniture is in. Crews are double-checking the airflow, double-checking electrical and plumbing systems, and more. In a few weeks, these workers will walk off the job for good. Librarians are just now putting material back on the shelves, so soon everything will be accessible to students and staff. But perhaps the most striking symbol of recovery is outside, a golden shower tree planted just two months before the floods. It was planted for Pickering's boss, Joyce Watson, a librarian. It was transplanted elsewhere for several years during the construction, and just two days ago, replanted in its old spot. And we can tell you if there is another flood, there is now a barrier wall around the library. They've added uh, some watertight doors, and they've also diverted the drainage so that water will go around the library instead of through it. And Pickering says the price tag for the library repairs was around $25 million. Catherine Cruz, KITV4 News.